So today I'm going to show you how to create this animation in Cinema 4D. So the first thing we need to do is add in a cylinder and we're going to change the radius to 33 and the height to 400. I'm going to add a wee bit of detail to the cap here as well. So come under caps and fill it and I'm going to change the radius to 5. So next step is adding in a cloner. I'm going to change this to linear. I'm going to up the count to something like 30. And on the Z axis, I'm going to space them out 75 centimeters. So obviously we have these clones on the Y axis. So we need to make these go along the X like so. And for the animation part, what we're going to do is add in a formula. So just make sure under Effectors we drag the formula in. And if we come into the formula parameters, I'm going to slow it down to 0 0.25 and essentially add the frequency, um, sorry, change the frequency to 2 so we get more of them. Under Parameter, we can zero out X and for the, the Y, I'm going to put in 40 centimeters. Turn off the scale and rotation, I'm going to go minus 15, 0 and 45. So let's hit play. So you see we've got the basic animation here where basically these cylinders are rocking back and forward, which is what we want. We'll notice because our formula the frequency is 2 that we need to double our, our frames here. So let's come into the render settings and we're going to change this from 0 to 180. And I'm just going to make this a 1200 by 1200, which is fine. So let's add in a camera. I'm going to add in a redshift camera, but you can add in just a standard one. And I'm going to change the focal length to 300. So we'll just zoom that out a wee bit and reposition like so. So let's, let's change this to 180 here and hit play. So this is the final animation obviously we want to achieve, however we've also got the added loop in so if I pull up the, the final render we'll see these go back and forward and then it loops around 360 degrees. So in order to do that we'll come into the cloner and what we want to do is we can rotate these clones 360 so we can set a keyframe at 0 and at the end make this 360. Let's make sure we've got a keyframe. And if I go back to the start and hit play, that's looking a lot better. We've now got that twist in. Now, one last thing I've done is also added in a delay effector, which adds a bit of springiness to it. So we'll come in, add a delay. Under the effector, go to spring and strength 75. And just make sure this is added under the effectors tab of the cloner. Go back to the start and hit play. And here we have the, the final animation. If you'd like to see the lightning texturing of this scene, similar to the post um, in the preview, then I can do a separate video for that. Just let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I'll post a scene file on Gumroad and I'll see you in the next video.